Hi and welcome back to today's more report on Monday the 8th of August with me Richard Perry Market Analyst at Antic Markets. Let's look at dollar yen and we've started to see a bit of traction. We've got that um, dollar yen um, sort of pulling higher again after that payrolls report. Um, that payrolls report on Friday. Um, positive candle um, generated about 60 ticks of upside and again we're sort of seeing about 40 50 ticks uh, today of additional move now the interesting thing will be whether this is um, the start of a, a re proper recovery I don't necessarily think it is um, I sort of look at this move on dolly and think well I think this is just again another retracement move within the big downtrend channel and um, this big downtrend channel which has been pulling dolly and love six eight eight months or so and I don't think that this is any real sort of difference to that. Um, I think that there's a resistance band that you can draw around 102.80, 102.85. Um, and I think just this is just another unwinding move, really. Um, the MACD lines are relatively tepid in terms of what they're doing, but um, they're still negatively configured. The stochastics, I think, are the main one. Um, again, not really showing too much traction yet. Um, and I think that ultimately this uh, little move here is going to give you a, another selling opportunity. Now I've been talking about the fact that 101.80, so 101.95 to 102.85, which is 102.85 is a pivot, minor pivot. Um, you're sort of back into this selling zone, I think, near-term sell zone. If you start to see this rally just faltering now, I think... Um, you'd be looking out for the next uh, next opportunity to sell. I think ideally, um, uh, on a medium, or, or sorry, on a near to medium term basis, you'd probably say, well, around 104 figure, um, because that was the old neckline. Uh, so around 104 figure, that's a pretty big resistance. And I think um, if you saw another sell signal below that, you'd think, well, that is uh, an ideal opportunity. Um, for now, we're, we're, we're gonna uh, sort of go with you probably should be going with the, the near-term rally, but again, if you go with a rally in a in a downtrend channel, you're trading against the trend, and that I think creates a bit of um, bit of danger in the uh, in the move. The dollar is is positive, so um, um, that sort of at, is helping the move, and uh, also the the fact that risk is um, also positive means that the dollar yen is going to pull higher and near term you could argue yes perhaps you should be tracking this one higher but ultimately I think that this is going to prove to be another sort of selling opportunity um, and uh, I'll be very surprised to see it go too far before the uh, the selling pressure just returns once more so initially the resistance is now you're back into the resistance band 101.85 to 102 sorry 101.95 to 102.85 but then above that 104 figure is that old neckline support, which is now turned into resistance. So good luck in your trading on Dolly N today, and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.